If Deb's in tears now, how is she going to be on auction day? Now, from one party place to another. Helen and her partner, Karen, love throwing a shinzi. This party will go on till about 4 a.m., I'd say, till the last one drops. Four years ago, the ladies clapped eyes on their party pad in the southern Sydney suburb of Caringbar. Who wants chips? And it was a case of love at first sight. When we first saw this property, basically as soon as we walked through the front door, it was just all the open plan, the openness of it, the light. Walking out into this back area, it just had entertainment stream written all over it. But the good times nearly hit the skids when stress took a serious toll on Karen's health. My boss took me up to hospital because um, they thought I was having a heart attack and um, they performed an angiogram on me on my 44th birthday and yeah, so it was all stress related so I just thought I didn't need to be going through this life all stressed and worried about different things or especially work related. Nothing like a heart scare to make you question your priorities in life. All the money in the world's not worth it if you've got a big fat bank account, you're dead or something, is it? So. Mm. The doctors gave Karen the all clear, but not before she and Helen had made a life-changing decision. To sell up in Sydney and move north to the sunshine and cheaper real estate of Queensland with a dream of working less and living mortgage-free. You sort of think to yourself, I don't want to be in that situation where my mortgage owns me, so... Um, we can sell up here and quite comfortably buy a new property up in Queensland and, and not have a mortgage, so I'm just worry about holidays or what we're doing next. So it's time to up stumps and move north. Who's coming to visit us in Queensland? But that means leaving behind the friends and the house they've come to love. There's so much to miss about the house. It's just five minutes drive down the road to the beach. But unfortunately, we can't pick it up and take it with us. So, but we'll find another one up there. Cheers for no mortgage. Cheers for no mortgage. <laughs> Cheers. In Sydney's southern suburbs, Helen and Karen are getting ready for their big move to Queensland. Where does that come from? We can leave her with oh, the house. Please. <laughs> we'll leave it here. Let's leave it there. Please, with our pets. They're selling their home of five years in southern Sydney so they can buy a house in the Sunshine State. Six. That's good. And hopefully live mortgage free. Have a look at this one. Slippery Downs. I don't want to live at a place called Slippery Downs. You can't say that. Those Slippery Downians might get up there. Their house is fully renovated and landscaped, so there's not a penny to spend, and it's close to beaches and train services to the city. We're hoping, uh, as a result of the sale of the property, that we get 880,000 for it. So we paid 830, and then the stamp duty on top. So as long as my, in my mind, I'm happy with 880,000. Um, Helen's looking for plus a holiday. I'm just happy just to say goodbye to the bank. Camille Lam is the agent who'll be trying to get that price. It's a fantastic house. The house has been fully renovated over the last few years. It's got a real wow factor about it, and it's bringing people from left, right, and centre into the area looking to buy something fully done. Camille knows the place well, and so he should. He was the person who sold it to Helen and Karen. Camille is very honest and he'll, he'll always be communicating with you on what's happening with the property. He, he's just a lovely guy. Just before the auction. And when you've sold a house once before, a smooth sales pitch is a double. As you can see, all open plan. You've got a close to new Caesar stone kitchen with stainless appliances. You've also got the walk-in pantry as well. Open plan with the dining. You can see the backyard from there. As you come into the lounge room, you've got this beautiful light coming straight through the skylights, electric awnings through there. Again, facing straight through to the backyard. You can watch your kids play or entertain on any afternoon. But one of the best features is supplied by nature. I love the tree. The tree in the backyard is, is my ocean. And the cubby for the kids is pretty special too. Do you want to go in? Yeah. Interest has been incredible. I mean, we've had people continually driving past and Sunday had them knocking on the front door. This place is getting rave reviews from everyone. Young families, entertainers, upsizers, and those looking to downsize like Sue. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> she knows she's hit on something pretty special. I've been looking now for about two months, but this is the first property I've had any real interest in and I'm going to bid at. It just seems to be what I was looking for. Just a small, compact home for easy care. So, 
see what happens. <laughs> and Sue isn't the only fan in the family. Granddaughter's been through the cubby house already, so she's given it a tick of approval. I'm going to have it a go. My first time at oh, bidding at an auction, so it's a bit nerve-wracking, but we'll see what happens. Sue has some good company in the anxiety department. We're going to be very nervous. And you don't know until the day who's going to turn up for it. We hope that there's lots. We hope. Yeah. But you don't know what's going to happen. Lauren's in touch. She'll take your registration. I'll come and talk to you in a second. At Karen Bar in Sydney's southern suburbs, the auction of Helen and Karen's home is about to start. Hopefully there's somebody out there that'll be emotionally attached to it like I was and be prepared to pay for it. Attached enough to pay the reserve of $880,000. But interested bidder Sue has no intention of getting carried away. I have set myself a limit and I am going to stick to it. I've just said to my friend, you hold my hand and if I start to go over that, you just give me a good pinch. <laughs> Sue's not the only one chasing the place. Galen Smith is looking for a home for her and her two teenage boys. I have someone bidding on my behalf so that I can remain fairly honest. My palms <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, we'll hand it over to you. Good luck today. I can't believe how many people are at the front of our house staring at it though. Bit of offer, where do we start? It's your call, give me a realistic offer there and I'll go with you. That's Gaylen with her bidder, the man in the blue shirt. 810 I have, 810 going with you all the way. At $810,000 to bid, it's there. At $810,000 to bid, first call now, ladies and gentlemen, there should be hands everywhere here. At $815,000 to bid, there are a few formalities that I am required to get on quickly. At $810,000, tell them they're dreaming if they want to buy 18 for it. At 810, you're 20 now. 840, better still, thank you, sir. At 840, 50 is here. We've made past what we paid for it. Looking for 60. Who's there at 860? 860,000 there, ladies and gentlemen. Make no mistake. 860 is the bed you're in for the 70. 880, 880, better still. That's my dream number. Give me another 10. Make it 890. 890 is here. My heart's pounding. So you're going 900. That's where you should be at. Am I allowed to be excited now? You should be. This auction is going off. 905, 905, 905, and you're into the 10. 905 is the bid, you've got the 10. 10, thank you, madam, and 910. 910 is the bid, 910,000. That's 910,000 I've got. 910 is the bid. Two's going for a two. 910,000 I've got. 12, 12 is the bid, I'll take the two. 15, better still. 915. 920 I've got. 920 is the bid. My instructions are to sell the property here to the highest bidder here today at nine hundred and twenty. It's at nine hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars to bid nine two five. I have nine two six. Thank you, sir. Nine two six. We'll keep in the thousand. Nine two seven's here. At nine two seven's the bid is here. Nine two seven. Sell to the highest bidder here. Nine hundred twenty-seven thousand quickly. Sue's thinking, but she did say she wasn't going to go over her limit. And blue shirt man looks pretty determined. Second call. The gavel's up, ladies and gentlemen. Quickly. Third and final call. Nine hundred twenty. We can go on holidays now. All the other bidders, are you? We back in first, second, third, and final call. Out of courtesy, no further bidding, ladies and gentlemen. Please put your hands together for your owner. Top to you, sir. Big round of applause there, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a popular owner. Welcome to the street. Here at Karen Bar. Well, well. congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, ladies. That's a whopping fifty-seven grand over your reserve. I'm very, I'm very happy. Very. You're just great. Yeah. And Galen and her two boys are happy as well. Thank you. Really hope you're going to be as happy here as well. Good on you. That was well lovely, done. and I'm glad you bought it. It's real. I can't believe it. I actually got it. And so, with everything signed on the dotted line. Helen and Karen can say see ya to the bank and hello to a new life in Queensland. That also now set a record price for a three bedroom house in North Karenbar as well. $927,000. Mm. Well, the best in Queensland. Good luck, ladies. Enjoy your mortgage free life in the sun. You deserve it. <laughs>